hit to short. Torres comes up with it. And he's safe at first as he beats this one out by about a half a step. Well, that has to be a huge disappointment for that guy right there. He made yet another great pitch, but this is going to wind up as an infield single, and it's going to take away the no-hitter along with it. So they do get their first hit, but their first run will have Carlos Beltran will step in to kick off the inning with Alex Rodriguez waiting on deck for the Yankees. Right fielder, Carlos Beltran. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Ready with the 0-1. That's lifted the other way out to left. Holt moves over. One out. Now Alex Rodriguez will stand in. One of the few guys not to join the hit parade so far. Yeah, guys, he's got to be feeling a little bit like that dog that gets left out in the rain while the rest... There's a swing and a drive, and everybody's just going to sit back and watch that one fly. A no-doubt home run. A solo home run here for Alex Rodriguez. And that'll stake the Yankees to a 5-0 lead now. Well, no doubt that's a mistaken location right there. At the plate, his eyes were probably lighting up watching that one come in. The batter, third baseman. Chase Headley. Here's Chase Headley. As he'll swing and lift a foul ball off to the left and out of play. And a sinker's in there for a called strike, and he forges ahead, nothing in two. There's a swing and a miss by Headley as he set down on strikes for the second out. That's the way you want to see guys respond after giving up a home run. You know, some guys, they go into a shell, they hang their heads. Some guys get a little gun shy. They start to nibble at the corners. This guy, he gets teed off, and he comes right after the next guy in the lineup. If I'm a pitching coach, that's what I want to see. The 0-1. And this ball's heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0-2 now. Looking for the strikeout, here's the 0-2 pitch. Chop foul over towards the dugout. Two quick strikes, and now the 0-2. Out in front of that one, but he stays alive and will do it again on 0-2. Line towards center field, and a knock for him this time. He's two for four for the game. Yeah, just couldn't put him away right there. You'll see the sequence. He was able to foul off two straight 0-2 pitches, and then finally he finds a pitch that he could do something with, and he's on board. Into the box, Austin Romine reined in. Throw in time, and the side is retired. One in the inning for the Yankees, and it comes courtesy of Alex Rodriguez. We'll march on to the eighth. Five-nothing New York. Leading off the inning, Mookie Betts. And they'll need him to get right, something Taylor. going here. Mookie and so far in this Betts. one, they're still getting shut out. So this lead off that bat could be huge if he can just get on base because they've been held in check all game. Oh. 
Ball hit high and foul down the left field line. It's strike one. Here comes Yankee manager Joe Girardi on his way to the mound. And he's going to motion for his bullpen here. That'll do it for the starter tonight. Seven solid innings for him in this one as he gave his club a very strong outing indeed. Nate Evaldi is on to work as he'll take over here in the eighth. Number 30, Nate Evaldi. Leading off the inning, Mookie Betts. And they'll need him to get something going here. Well, you know, he's been on base twice in this one already, so let's see if he can do it again. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Hit to third. Gloved by Headley. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Now batting number 15. Dustin Pedroia strides in, grounded out his last time through. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. You know, when you watch Pedroia play day in and day out, I always think about that memorable 2013 season. I mean, this is a guy who hurts his thumb on opening day, but he played 160 games that season, and he led the Sox to another World Series title. Xander Bogarts. We'll stand in now with two away, needing to really get something started here. And their chances of getting back into this ball game are growing dimmer by the batter. Two out, nobody on. Now a swing as he hits this one into the air. Well, this will be foul off to the right out of play. Strike three called, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Red Sox. Need to get it. Your attention, please. Now New pitcher set Red to take Sox. over here, and we'll see Number the right-hander Junichi Tozawa. Junichi Tozawa. Aaron Hicks is set to take some more swings. He homered back in the third inning. He pulls this one into right, and that'll get down for a base hit. So he goes after the first pitch, and it's early trouble here this half of the inning. Up next Ronald Torres. Digs in now after lining out in his last try. Yeah, he put a good swing on it last time, so we'll see if he can make one fall here. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. Pedroia on to first, and they turn the double play. Well, that's just made to order right there. Two hops to short, easy pivot. Not a lot of heat at second base. That's just a pretty routine double play. Here's the first pitch to him. This is line to left, and he dives to make a spectacular catch. What a play there to end the inning. Worth a second look here as this is a beauty to end the inning. More from Yankee Stadium in just a moment. Now the beautiful views of Manhattan at night. Welcome back to baseball on the show from right here in the Big Apple. Kicking off the top of the ninth, David Ortiz. And they'll need him to get something going here. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. This man out for a second inning of work, and why not? He set him down one, two, three the last time around. Right, and with two strikeouts mixed in there as well. 
Just let him keep going. Here's the 0 and 2. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. Hanley Ramirez ready to take another shot. Went down on strikes his last time up. That was a pretty big strikeout, too, because he had a chance to drive in a run. So I'm sure he's going to be thinking about that missed opportunity for a little while. To short. Throw on to first, and now the Red Sox are down to their final out. Jackie Bradley Jr. makes his way to the plate, needing to make something happen. They're down to their final out in the ninth inning. Grounded back up the middle. A dive, but he can't get it. It's through into the outfield. And they finally break through for their second hit of the ball game here. But any time that second hit comes in the ninth inning, you know your offense is in big trouble. Travis Shaw stands in as he looks at a cold strike. Hit hard back up the middle. And that gets through, so he'll have his first base hit. Make him one for four in the game now. Sandy Leon will stand in now. And, hey, give these guys credit. They're not going down without a fight. I'll tell you what, they're not too far away from making a game out of this one after all. And that'll do it as he puts the squeeze on that one. And with a whimper there, that will be the final out of the ball game. Time for one final check of the line score as you see the key players there in this shutout victory. Well, you always hope to get a good outing from your starting pitcher, but this man went above and beyond in this one. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, he was really overpowering guys out there. Look at the line score. He winds up with 11 strikeouts, and he definitely was a deciding factor in this one. So that just about does it. For EK, Psycho, and the crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, get those smartphones and tablets out and head over to theshownation.com. The Yankees come out on top, five to nothing. Good night from the Bronx. Our final line score.